Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Green Glade and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create 5 by 7 inches butterfly waterfall card. If you haven't tried this fancy fold yet, I really hope I'll inspire you to create your own version. And the theme for today is rainbow butterflies. To create my cards, I'm going to use Butterfly Kisses Cutting Die Set from Crafters Companion. It is pretty old now, but I thought today is the day to use it. And it also comes with a matching stamp set. And that's how I'm going to start my card. I'm going to stamp that image and I'm going to use my rotating platform from Creative Craft Products. I absolutely love it. It is pretty small, but very handy. You can create beautiful reefs with that platform, but it's also perfect for stamping any images. And that's what I'm going to do here. I've got 300 GSM multi-purpose card and first I'm going to prime my stamp, which means I haven't used it yet. And the very best way to do it is to use Versamark ink and when this is ready, then you can choose any ink from your stash. So first let's use that Versamark ink. It is clear, transparent, a little bit sticky. So when this is ready, then I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I absolutely love it and it is perfect for waterproof stamping. And I need to do it because I'm going to use watercolor base pens later on. I haven't used them in a very long time, so I thought today is the day. So when I'm happy with my butterfly, then I'm going to use zig markers from my stash. I haven't used them in a very long time, so I thought let's use them. I'm going to need a little bit of water and also a paintbrush to spread the water on the card. And this is very easy to create that watercolor effect on your projects. So if you've never ever used watercolor markers or pens, I do encourage you to give them a go. And the very best tip for you is to use waterproof ink, because this way the black lines are not going to bleed on your project. And that's exactly what we want. You can also use some watercolor cut and that will give you even better effect on your project. Over here, I'm just using my 300 multi-purpose card, which is perfect for smaller images. And as you can see, I'm trying to achieve that stained glass window effect with those watercolor pens. And yes, you can do it. So the trick here is to apply the color on one of the sides and then use the wet paintbrush to spread the color. And I think this is the best way to use watercolor markers. If you agree with me, please let me know in the comments down below. And I also wonder how often do you use that media in your paper crafting? If you do have your favorite brand, please let me know in the comments down below. And yesterday I created a diagonal waterfall card. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to leave it here in the top right corner, but also at the very end of this video. So if you've never created a waterfall card with no cutting dice, I really recommend that video. And it's also part of hashtag FFC Challenge 2023, hosted by Mona. Paper Mona, Monica, and every single month is dedicated to a different fancy fold. And April is waterfall cards. So if you've never ever created this style, not only can you use inspiration from this video now, but also from the yesterday's video. And I really hope you'll enjoy creating your own version. Now I'm going to use a cutting die from that set. And as you can see, it's going to be super easy to create my image. So I'm going to put it through my die cutting machine. And now I've got my butterfly ready. And off camera, I also colored some other butterflies as well to create that rainbow 
effect. So in the end, I've got five of them. Now it is time to create that mechanism. And in butterfly cases, you also have that bigger die. And I'm going to use very light purple card from the little, and that will be my mechanism. As you can see, it has some score lines, so now it is time to fold them and burnish them. And I really like to use my bone folder because it makes my job so much easier. As you can see, with that mechanism, you have the shape of a butterfly. However, you can create your own mechanism. As you can see, it is pretty simple. It looks like a cross. So in the end, you don't really need that butterfly shape. It can be straight and that will be perfectly fine because in the end, you're just going to attach all those elements. So I'm going to start with the bottom butterfly first and I'm going to use my liquid glue. It is perfect because I can maneuver my elements if I make a mistake. And here you only need a tiny bit of glue. I'm trying to line it up with the first core line and then I'm going to use another butterfly. However, I'm only going to apply the glue at the top of the wings. Here, yeah, just tiny bit and this is enough. So then I'm going to line it up again with the scoring line here. If you have any excess of the glue, now is the time to remove it. So then I'm going to move on to my third butterfly and repeat the process. A tiny bit of glue because it's only going to be adhered on that small fold line here. And again, I've got two more butterflies left. And then I'll have that mechanism ready for waterfall fancy fold. Have you ever used butterflies in your card making? Or have you ever created a rainbow butterfly card? If you have, please let me know how did you do it. So now I'm just testing my mechanism. But before you do it, I do recommend you wait until the glue is set properly. So now it will be time to actually start putting all those elements on our card. And first, I've got 5 by 7 inches card blank. I'm going to score it in half, fold it and burnish it. And that is so easy way to create your card base. Then I use exactly the same purple card from the little and I'm going to use white flowers design paper from Crafters Companion. So the purple card is measuring four and three quarters by six and three quarters and with the design paper I'm going to create a panel that will measure four and a half inches by six and a half of an inch and to do it I'm going to use my trimmer. So when these elements are ready then we can start assembling them together at the front of the card and again I'm going to use my liquid glue to put them together. Super quick and simple. And for your waterfall card, you can use any color combo or design papers you've got in your stash. And if you don't have this cutting die set, I really recommend you check the video from yesterday where I show you the diagonal waterfall cut with no cutting dies. All you need to do is to get a trimmer or a guillotine to cut your panel. Super quick and simple. So now, as you can see, I put the glue where I need it on the flaps and I'm going to attach that mechanism on the front of the card. And again, you have to make sure the glue is set before you move on to the next step. Here I've got a sentiment and polish and I use black heat embossing powder just to embellish it. And I think this is just perfect. Here, I'm using double-sided foam adhesive for extra dimension. However, I do recommend when you create your own waterfall card, do not use any double-sided foam adhesive for your other elements because they can be like distraction on a card and you will see that in a moment. So when I put the butterflies back, I need to hold them a little bit so they don't touch the sentiment. So the best idea here is actually to stamp your sentiment at the front of the card. So this way you're going to have exactly the same level because we always learn every single time we create a card right? But here I'm going to use some double-sided tape and then a few drops of liquid glue again, just for extra strength. 
Now I'm going to place it here and the very last thing I need to do is to add a couple of gems in the corners of my card. And it is complete. If you want, you can write a very secret message inside of the card, but also on the mechanism itself, like on the purple panel here. And the cut is complete. So what do you think about this butterfly waterfall cut? Would you like to give it a go? And to be honest, you can use any cutting dice and stamps from your stash to create your own version. Thank you so much for watching and spending that time with me. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I can tell you there are more videos coming your way very soon. Have a wonderful day. See you in my next video. Happy crafting!